All right, hello and welcome back. It is finally here. Time to do the playthrough of Lands of Lore, the Throne of Chaos with the canonical champion. I have need of a champion. Who among you will volunteer to serve me in this matter? And that of course is Kieran. Kieran, who is the worst character in the game um, in multiple ways, but is canonically the true champion, at least according to the second game. So let's meet well, our friend here. You decided. <laughs> Apparently, Richard does not like waiting. Strength, magic. <laughs> what good is it all if you can't dodge blows? I'm fast. Quick, go with these lodestones if you plan to plot along. But if you want to win this quest, better pick me. Let's do it. Excellent. Settle your affairs and attend me in the throne room for instructions. Welcome to Gladstone Keep. King Richard awaits you in the throne room. All right, let's go directly there. Are you spending any extra time? His Royal Majesty awaits you in the throne room. I tell you, we must march with whatever troops can be gathered locally. Isn't Eric mustering his white army? Have we lost all confidence in our own military capabilities? Eric is the finest commander in the kingdom, but he is a five-day march from here. As long as we have our own magic, I really don't see where we need more than the defenses we already have in place. Scotia is not an adversary to be taken lightly. Ah, Kira, because of the threat from Scotia, I have an urgent need for the Ruby of Truth. Roland's estate in the Southland and return it to Gladstone. Here is a key to my private library. Among the books, you will find a magic atlas that should be of assistance on your journey. Come by my office before you leave the key. I'll give you a writ that will identify you as being on official business for His Highness. All right, let us do just that. Oops. Step this way, collect the atlas. The magic atlas. <laughs> uh, which will, of course, fill in behind us every time we go to a new area. The game becomes not impossible, but difficult oh, without it. It's you. The impending storm attracts all you would be heroes. Now, I suppose you want your writ. <laughs> Look, even the beasts seek shelter. If you need help, mayhap that rascal Timothy is at the Grey Eagle. Someday perhaps I'll try a run through without the magic atlas, but uh, I truly have no desire to do so. It's just unpleasant. Oh, so you come to see Victor, afraid of Scotia's new toy. <laughs> Why afraid? Look at Victor. Myself could use a shape changer. <laughs> You show Victor what you want to buy. Maybe you show Victor what you sell. Okay? All right, we're going to sell this dagger. Work, men. And purchase this you mace instead. Me. Although we will only have it you for a very brief come. time. No. And there is no need to see Nathaniel. He is useless. But we will traverse the woods here there are silver coins in here okay is that a pseudo bushy a huge flora there is nothing in the hollow wake dread we'll go to later hmm what would a beautiful young woman be doing on a road like this excuse me lad are you with king richard i need to get into the keep and i have forgotten the password may i go in with you i'm sorry miss but these are dangerous times Timid fool, I will not forget you. Say what you want about Scotia, but she is not a great liar. Really gave up on that very quickly. All right, let's get introduced to this boar here. Particularly with Kieran, I like to pick up the mace before I leave Gladstone. Usually I won't bother with the other characters, but he's just so terrible. Uh, I feel like he needs hey, the help. You. I'm taking your money. 
No, you won't get my money without a fight. He's the only character who I ever die against. Uh, not really to the one, but when I have to face the two together um, after this, um, they can prove to be a little bit more of a problem. The nest is empty. But only for Kieran, because he's the worst. Um, all right, make sure we didn't leave anything behind. That should be everything. Good. Why are thugs guarding that cave? Hey! Get out of here! I don't have enough magic. I don't have enough magic. Alright, there we go. Just snuck by. Um, oh, there's our dagger. Apparently, we did not throw it very far. And there's no reason to heal. So we won't. There are silver coins in here. A lantern. Let's put these down here. We got this rock. Grab the thug's key and some coins over here. There are silver coins in here. And then head down this way. Don't need to bother with that pressure plate. Head down here, use the key, and get a few useful items, including this lockpick, the bazelle cup, and another salve. Ten crowns. Hmm. Empty. All right, I'm gonna pick these back up, as we will be selling them shortly, along with this. Oh. This mace. Yes, Kieran, because of uh, the type of feet he has, doesn't wear boots, which lowers our defense throughout the entire game. Another reason why he's so terrible. You may pass. It's not the biggest difference, but it does matter. This is where we actually want to go. You again come to see Victor. I have just seen Scotia. She turned into a bird and flew away. Maybe you go tell Jared. Scotia. That. Bye. All right. Need for... I'm gonna sell all of these off. Bye. We don't actually need to sell all of it. What we do need to sell are two of these swarms. You need for sell. The... You need for sell. In order to get to at least 125 crowns, we can buy this Excellent long sword. Ben. 125 crowns. Very good. All right. You again come this. No. Wonderful. Now we can carry on. So, all we have left to do is head on down to the marina and book our passage to the Southland. Excuse me. I need to book passage to the Southland. Where's your money? I have a writ from the king. Well, where is it? Well then, hurry and get on the boat. Ah, <laughs> oh, she is the worst. Maybe even worse than Jaren. Maybe. It's a tight, tight race. Um, all right, we will end things here. I'll kind of rest up off screen, and then we will continue on through our adventures into the Southland. But till then, see you.